Hey, what's up, everybody? What's going on? It's your man, Jeremy Johnson, a.k.a. Jada Prince, and just wanted to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving, first and foremost. I know I'm looking a little rough. Yeah, I haven't gotten my little haircut as of late, but um, I'll take care of that later on, um, either today, tomorrow, whatever time. But, I, you know, so I probably really shouldn't even be on Facebook today because I really need to find a house, like, ASAP. Um, Lease is up, and it's time to move on to the next chapter of my life, and I'm very excited about it. I've had a great run with my roommate. He's been a great guy, and we've had our challenges, but um, it's time for me to, you know, grow and move forward uh, with the next chapter. So, like I said, I probably shouldn't be on Facebook, but, you know, of course, I need my daily funnies. I need my laughs. I need my laughs because my laughs keep me going when things are rough. And tough, you know, my laughs keep me going, and so I've definitely um, had several great laughs today from different things that I've seen on Facebook. And then there's the things that make me want to cry and scream and yell. And right now, I'm specifically speaking of one individual, and I've never posted. I don't think I've. I don't think. Let me go. Let me go back. I don't think I've ever posted anything about this guy before. But you know, I have come to the conclusion that today is that day. So, Andrew Caldwell, this is for you. All right? I, I do my best to keep a very open mind and a very level head and um, just allow people their own space to do them and be them. You know, because who am I? Who who am I, really? I'm just, I'm just another creation, you know? Um, and so, with that being said... You know, it's really not my place to go around passing judgment on people or you know, to look down on people and things of that nature. But I think at the same time, the balance of that comes in. Sometimes we put ourselves out there. And so when you start putting yourself out there to the point where you really start annoying people, then you can start expecting some type of backlash or, you know, repercussions or, 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 or something of that nature. I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. People can say whatever they want to say about my deliverance, but the truth is, it's mine. It's mine. Hey guys, hey guys, I'm responding back to some mess. I got a call early today about my, um, about somebody wanted to come and um, help me do something for March the 4th. You know, you can't trust people. You know, I didn't trust this queen anyway. He's a queen. And at the end of the day, um, Alexis Spy, I'm going to say her name. Sue me on that. Girl, you can't, you don't got no money to sue anyway. But anyway, girl, um, she, the first time, you know, I never said anything about her. You know, I don't usually respond back to mess. I don't know you. You don't know me. This video may reach you. It may not. But I want to encourage you to stop. I really do. You know, America has, has, and I'm going to say America, maybe the world, I don't know, but I, I know much of America has gotten a, a nice hefty dose of you in 2000, I believe, maybe late 15, definitely 16. We've had a nice little hefty dose of you, starting with the I'm not gay uh, tirade. Great for you. I was actually rooting for you. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. I, I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? Um, I believe in the power of the universe. I believe in the power of of of, of human um, ability to uh, not necessarily change your sexuality, but definitely to change your choices. So that if you uh, decide not to act on homosexual feelings you know, anymore, you have, you are well within the power to do that. You are well within your right to do that. And that is definitely possible. It doesn't mean it takes the, the desires away. It just means that you have made an active decision to not act upon what it is, you know, you feel, you innately feel. So kudos. I was rooting for you. I'm Mr. I'm not gay dude. Like be that. But here's the deal. Here's the problem. Dude, you have gotten no disrespect to you. And again, I, I, I'm doing my best to select my words very carefully. But brother, it seems like you've gotten more gay 
you become more sissified, I think is one of the terms you use, and I do not like using that faggot word. That's, that's to me, that's like the ultimate disrespectful word you could possibly use, even though it has nothing to do with one's sexuality. Not the denotative meaning. Yes, the connotation, the connotative meaning, we've come to associate that with, you know, um, I guess, effeminate men or, or gay men of, of some sort. But I don't like using that word, and you use it, and you, and you flaunt it, man. And I'm just, dude, one brother to the next. I'm just trying to tell you, sit down somewhere. Go sit down. Like, dude, who cares if you're rich? Who cares if you have a little money? You are an internet sensation, as you've put it yourself. Do you really know what that means? An internet sensation. And I don't even, I don't, honestly, I'm not even going to go as far as say sensation. You are known on the internet. There's nothing sensational about you. You're making yourself look like an idiot, dude. Like, really and truly, I, I care for people as a whole, you know? And though I have never met you, don't really care to meet you, um, not in person, I care for how... I care for the quality of your life, if that makes any sense. And I believe you stand the chance of having a better quality of life if you would stop trying to keep yourself in the limelight. If you would just focus on getting some more grammatical skills under your belt, um, if you would focus more on learning how to formulate actual words, people can actually comprehend, you know, um, man, that would serve you so well. It really would. And I mean this like from a place of sincerity, dude, like, man, stop making a mockery out of yourself. Stop making a fool of yourself. Stop. Just stop. Like let 2017 be that year that you really just focus on, on, on your dreams, your visions, whatever they are, um, for your success. And, and don't worry about people and how they perceive you or stop giving people room to perceive you as anything other than a clown, a buffoon, an idiot, a, 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 a dunce, a dope. Uh, like there's nothing. I'm not, when you share, I don't get any spirit. I don't get this God that you profess to have. I don't get deliverance. I don't get any of that. I don't, I, I, I don't, I really don't. I would love to, I would love to feel some type of spiritual, um, energy resonating from you. I would love a positive or, you know, like really, yeah, but I don't get that, man. And maybe it doesn't matter to you. I'm just, like I said, I'm just one person that you've never met before or have heard of. Um, and that's cool. I'm good with that. But just as some, someone who has, who has seen quite a few posts that you've made, someone who cares I guess for the human uh, experience, I'm asking you to like take a seat in 2017, man. Like, dude, you 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 can. There's so much more I'm sure you can be doing with your life rather than posting videos of yourself looking a fool, looking and sounding a complete monkey ass fool. Like, really, dude. I'm, 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 I'm hoping you'll get this. I'm hoping that someone will share this with you. Um, you can sue me, but you won't get much. Um, at least not yet, <laughs> you know. Um, but rather than be offended by this message, I hope you will embrace it. And I hope you will will just, you know, take the time to stop and and just understand that, you know, this whole internet thing is, is going to your head, man. Like the internet is just a bunch of people's opinions, just like this one that I'm putting out there. And you, you don't need that to validate who you are. You've been created great by the creator. You don't need people's opinions to validate you or invalidate you. Okay. So the fact that you, that you, glean so much confidence from from showing off the little rolled up dollar bills in the trunk of your car and by the way who does that you know 
Um, man, like, chill out. Chill out. Get a focus for 2017. Run with it. Be become successful. Like, really become successful. I'm, I'm, I'm actually rooting for you, man. Like, I'm really hoping that you will, you know, take the little notoriety that you've gained from your videos and really make something great out of it. Like, build a business. Like, like, put something together that will help other young men who may potentially experience similar things that you have and like give them something to look forward to but hogging the internet sounding crazy with broken english like a runaway slave man that's just not cool in 2017 so stop